they were the forerunners. Oh yeah, these people that Paul is writing about, they're the forerunners of today's YouTube prophecy addicts who spend all their time in the realm of goofy instead of in the realm of reality. They didn't want to work and they used the soon coming of the Lord as an excuse to do just that, to not work. They didn't want to strain their minds on sound theology and they mishandled scripture in order to avoid learning to rightly apply it. Has anything changed? No. Nothing. Nothing has changed. It's hard work. Theology is very hard work. It's, it's mind-numbing. You go home and you're tired and you think, I was in that class and I think I remember two things that the teacher said. But you're feeding yourself on the Word of God. Okay? I know it's cliche. You've heard it before. But it's a very good example. Is the guy that uh, uh, says, you know, I don't know why I'm coming to church. and I, I just don't get anything out of it. He says, I just listen and I, I don't remember anything when I get home. And the pastor says to the guy, what did you eat for dinner last night? I don't know. But it nourished you, didn't it? It fed you. You might not remember what it was, but it kept you going and it fed you. If you're not listening to the word of God, something else is coming in in its place. You're being nourished. Even if you don't remember it, somewhere in your mind, it is processing what you have heard. You are now molding yourself to the image of what the Bible expects of you. But if you're not learning the word, that's never going to happen. Never in a million years. It's not just going to come by uh, what osmosis where you sleep on top of your Bible. It, it doesn't work that way. If you are getting the word of God, you will be building yourself up in the word, even if you don't remember. And I say it from time to time in a sermon. You might remember two things that I say during a sermon. And that's why I try not to use a lot of humor in sermons, because that is what you will remember the most. If I give a joke in there, you're going to remember that joke. And to me, that's sad. That's why my sermons are so detailed. They're so analytical. Is because I want you to take something out of there that you will remember and say, I really, really appreciate that little tidbit. And it's building something inside of you that is maturing you in the Word of God. Anyway, before YouTube... One can see them setting up stalls on the road and promoting their wares for everyone to see. Instead of a donate button, which you find on these websites, they had a donate slot. Instead of computer graphics, they had their wife paint a bizarro screen at the back of the stall. And instead of an open Bible filled with study notes, they listened to words of false teachers, which Paul says in verses 2, 1 through 3. Okay, we'll go there right now just so that you know what I'm talking about. It's been a while since we were in chapter 2, so we can review that. 2, 1 through 3. Now, brethren, concerning the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ and our gathering together to him, we ask you not to be soon shaken in mind or troubled, either by spirit or by word or by letter, as if from us, as though the day of Christ had come. Let no one deceive you by any means, for that day, the day of Christ, will not come unless the falling away comes first, and the man of sin is revealed, the son of perdition. And then he goes on to say, a few verses down from there, that we're not going to know who, who is? The, uh, the Antichrist. Antichrist. Right. If we're not going to know who the Antichrist is, and the Antichrist is revealed in the day of Christ, the day of the Lord, then we're not going to know the day of Christ. It, 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 I had it all there, and people were sending me screenshots of me talking, showing appreciation that they said, it all makes sense now, okay? We're not going to know those things. So why follow people that are teaching that? Okay, but it's so easy to just do that. It's so easy to just let that kind of stuff rule your life, and you don't have to learn theology, okay? Um <music>